Thanks, Mr. Hill. Greetings, good evening, and welcome back, Williston. Faculty, staff, students, parents, alumni, and everyone else involved in making this place go. It's great to see all of your faces out here on the quad this evening. As your program indicates, my name is Will Chalfont. My family calls me William, except for my dad, who calls me Scrimshaw. I am your grateful senior class president, a cross country and track runner, a bass and honors chamber singers, and one of the greatest honors of my life, a member of the 2018 to 19 undefeated Mighty Fourths basketball team. My goal tonight is to kickstart this school year with some words of encouragement, wisdom, and to instill some excitement in all of you for the weeks and months to come. When I made the decision to come to Williston back at age 12, it did not totally register to me where I had chosen to go. I don't think I even understood the concept of a boarding school at the time. I simply appreciated how close it was to my new home in Northampton and marveled at the fact that I could eat pizza and pasta any time of the week. It wasn't until ninth grade that I fully grasped how friendly and supportive this community is. I joined the cross country team in the fall of my freshman year. <clears throat> As I was waiting around for the first practice to start, an older kid who I'd never spoken to before approached me with a smile. Oh, you're doing cross country too? That's sick, he said. He made me feel like he'd been looking forward to my joining the team. That nice older kid was team captain and class president at the time, Nat Markey. Nat and co-captain Oscar DeFrancis continued to make all the other runners on the team feel welcomed and valued, especially the younger kids and newcomers. I maintained a friendship with both of them to this day. When I visited Nat at college last spring, his roommates were perplexed by our age difference. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. you were a freshman? Well, he was a senior? How are you guys friends? Nat and I looked at each other and said, that's just how it is at Williston. For the number of you who are new to Williston, trust me that you have joined a really amazing community. And for the rest of you who are returning, keep in mind how kind a word to a new or younger kid can mean. I've been giving tours to prospective families since ninth grade. I tell them about the programs and the buildings. I tell them about the official school events. But today, I'm not trying to convince you to come here. I'm here to share with you all the ways to seek out fun and happiness as an active student on this campus. In the last two years of classes in the gym, dividers in the dining hall, masks on our faces have taught me anything. It's to make the most of our time here. Let's begin where all tours begin, the admissions office. For me, this is where my advisor resides. I have had regular meetings with Ms. Talbot Saifu since she became my advisor in 10th grade. She helps me organize my schoolwork, she advises me on my training, she helps me plan for the future, and she always has my back. She cheers me up, she cheers me on, all while taking care of a toddler. You have an advisor too. I cannot stress how important it is to seek them out. Their job is to help you. Their passion is to help you. And their help is invaluable to relieving any stress you may have. Next stop on the tour, the residential quad. You might wonder what I, as a day student, know about the residential quad. Even with COVID protocols keeping day students from hanging out inside the dorms, I still found many ways to spend time with my boarding friends. Um, hanging out by the fire pits at a, after a late night school event, running routes with a frisbee on the giant field in front of EMV, or simply chilling on that luscious grass surrounded by these spiffy new dorms. We enter through the back door of the chapel, where a small flight of stairs takes us into the vast assembly hall with natural light spilling in from every angle. Here is where the more casual talents Williston has to offer are brought to light. Lily, Lily Venko and the after party owned that stage last year. But now, someone needs to step in and fill those shoes. 
I'll be here all year if y'all want any snow cones at assembly. But if any of you have a song, dance, video, or secret freestyle rapping ability, just know you can do nothing but add to our assembly experience by showing it off. We crossed the street, waving at the stopped cars, as Senor Simpson emphasized during my seventh grade orientation scavenger hunt, and make our way over to this building right behind me, Reed. Reed is host to artists, historians, and freshmen. Every single one of them. It also plays host to numerous activities throughout the year, such as open mics, movie showings, art walks, the list goes on. And even if something like a school-sponsored karaoke night isn't your first choice of something to do in your free time, doing, them, doing it with people whose company you enjoy will make anything fun. Take advantage of your weekends and take advantage of all the fun people living in such close proximity to you. We exit out the Stubop doors and cross the pond to the athletic center. Having practice every day with the same team for months can cause one to take for granted the team they are on for a given season. Remember to sit back and appreciate the group you are a part of, because before you know it, assessment week will roll around and your season will be over. Despite being the only week of a given trimester to not hold organized practices, the most live week of the trimester in the Athletic Center is Assessment Week. The full court 5v5 basketball games during these weeks are unmatched. People who you would have never interacted with otherwise are now matching up with you on the court. These are some of my best memories to this day. While an outsider might see the Williston Dining Hall as simply a place to grab some food, eat it, and be on with the day, this is truly the social hub of Williston. I can't articulate how much closer I have gotten with so many people here simply by going to dinner as a day student. It's a stress-free environment where you can wind down after practice and laugh until you fall out of your chair with your friends. Often, I will stay until the dining hall closes at 7 o'clock, partly to postpone starting my homework, but also because I see no reason to leave such a great environment. The Williston Dining Hall is so much more than just a place to eat. Next, you move to Scott Hall, where on select weekends throughout the year, all the hard work that goes into the play, the musical, the dance concert is put on full display. For some of us, this building is simply where Mr. Garrity reminds us to be cautious with the Bunsen burner. But for others, this is where true talent and passion is given a platform to shine in front of this community. You will not want to miss it when that time comes. Next up, the schoolhouse. The, school, the schoolhouse stairs, yeah, they can be a burden. Just as your schoolwork can be. But will you give up at the foot of them and turn around missing your class? Or will you power up the one, two, three, even four flights of stairs it takes to get to your next class? Yes, you will, every time. Now, don't go up three steps at a time, running the risk of flatting, f falling flat on your face. I have made this mistake before. Take it slow, methodically, and use the banister if you need to. It's always there to help, just as many teachers in the schoolhouse are during your free blocks, study hall, and even in the mornings. Next to the library, home of the true grind. When I used to have a big paper to do, I would procrastinate until the last two days and then feel disappointed with the job I'd done. Then I reflected on all the free blocks I had wasted on my phone, checking fantasy football and taking sporkle quizzes. This resulted in lackluster jobs on multiple assignments and it really wasn't worth it considering my seventh place finish in fantasy football last year. I flipped the switch. My advice to you, see help, seek help early and often. So many others around you are navigating the same challenges and obstacles you are facing. You have the choice to hunker down or reach out. Make that writing center appointment. Finish your paper and save fantasy football for Sundays and Thursday nights and, and Monday nights. Our tour concludes here on this very lawn where we all gather every Friday in early September. Right now, it feels like an eternity 
before the end of the first semester. But it will be over in the blink of an eye. Oh, my apologies. We are, especially, we are a special community at Williston, and I urge everyone not just, be, not just to be a tour guide to your life here, but to be an active participate, an active participant in what makes your life great here. Attend some games, make a plan for the weekend, have some conversations with people at dinner. Everyone on this lawn has stories, talents, and common interests with others that they can talk about for hours. Seniors, or should I say the class of 23, shout out to my PGs. We've spent this summer thinking about what comes next. We've been focused on college essays, interviews, campus visits, SAT prep, resume building, it's all important. But before we get to the moment that is next, we have a moment that is now. This fall, this year, this time, on this wonderful campus, let's remember to savor all that will happen before we graduate. Thank you.